Well, good afternoon, you all. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. Just been working, 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 working. Wanted to make this little video real quick. So, I bought some stuff. Um, I bought some air filter, cleaner, oil. Um, I used to use this stuff a long time ago. And I figured, why not get it again? Considering I uh, got it, the dirty bikes. Oh man. So, foam filter, oil, and some uh, regular. Um, what's that stuff called? Um, fabric filter, fabric, and uh, what you call it? Gauze. That's the word I'm looking for. Got it from Chaparral Motorsports. As you can see. Um, ordered it online. Not even joking. Ordered it, I think, on like Saturday. Saturday or Sunday. Um, maybe, yeah, Saturday night. Maybe Sunday. Eh, maybe Sunday morning. And uh, it's Tuesday and I got it. I went to Cycle Gear, little bike shop, got some black label PJ1 chain lube. Um, I bought an oil change kit, some new grips, some grippers, and uh, two tubes. And uh, yeah, but anyway, um, wanted to do this little video because I wanted to show you guys something pretty, pretty dope. See the exhaust? This is the head pipe. So I heated it up. I tried to flash cool it. I tried a lot of stuff. I tried uh, this PDR paintless dent repair stuff. Um, this did move it about one millionth of a millimeter. Um, however. Um, once it reached a spot, it was done. It would not budge it anymore. It would not move it at all. Um, so then I tried to freeze it. Just trying to clean up a little bit since I'm home early-ish. So I tried to freeze it. Uh, where is it at? So I stuck on this end here. I stuck this on, this little rubber thing, on with the hose clamp. So I stuck it on right there. And all it did was was bulge this out. And that's about it. And uh, so then last night, uh, this side did hold up fine. And you'll be surprised once I show you what this side is as you can see it's oh sorry it did break it broke broke through last night so this right here I just stuck in there like that and pushed it in hard and then duct taped it believe it or not it is the cap for some uh, drinking water freshener basically a little bottle of chlorine um, so, yeah, let me, uh, I'll just show you a picture unless you guys seen it from another video. So, here's my phone. Here's the picture. Here is the dent before. So, this is with the PDR. So, you see it's pretty, pretty mangled. Pretty good sized dent. And, uh, this is before I stuck it in the freezer. So you can see pretty pretty good sized dent. So ice is still melting. But if we do uh the before and after and try to zoom in. So as you could see it was good a really good sized dent. Um yeah, stuck it in the freezer. 
and yeah this this plane flew over today while we're working on the tracks pretty dope uh anyway uh yeah so that's pretty cool it came out the dent came out um told my brother-in-law about it and uh he told me well quit hitting rocks <laughs> so i'm assuming he hit a rock or something or something happened um this side let me see if i can't take this side out uh, i might have to do this oh it's coming a little bit let me get rid of this tape Off. Let's see. Okay, it's coming out. It's coming out. Okay. So this side is a piece of this nylon block. These nylon lengths of nylon. Um, I cut it down. I wrapped about three wraps of of uh duct tape and I tapered tapered this edge here and then I filled the thing completely full of water <coughs> um completely full like no air bubbles at all pounded it in there and then duct taped the heck out of it and uh yeah and it worked so I'm super super stoked about it because from here, from there was inside. So pretty cool. And somebody's saying it's stainless steel. However, I want to say that it is titanium. Because when I took this off here, when I was heating it and stuff, uh, it's super light. Oh, shit. <laughs> ice um yeah a lot of ice coming out wee, wee, wee. um anyway and then I went last night last night met a guy at his house and picked up some wheels so this my brother-in-law again he gave me it's an older tire it's from 2005, but it's brand new. So hopefully it doesn't chunk. And I picked up some some rotors. So a front and rear rotor. And some wheels. So I paid 200 bucks for the wheels. And uh, the guy said that the wheels... He, they're mounted, and then he took them off, whatever, he took them off of 2007 450, 2007 Honda 450, and, uh, yeah, so, um, I do have an extra front tire, I'm gonna probably mount that, that's why I bought tubes, because I was gonna try to buy some, some wheels anyway, so, I'm just checking it out. Making sure it's pretty true. And then this back wheel, same thing. Um, I need to get the little chingus that goes inside. A little rim liner. And just going to make sure. Yeah, 19 by 215. So, kind of thinking that uh, these will be my everyday riding wheels. Um, that'll go on the bike. I like the black wheels and everything with the red hubs, but those might be my, uh, my dune wheels. So I'll probably take that tire off and put, uh, the paddle tire on that rim. And then, uh, yeah, put this other tire I got on the front. And then this tire I got today. So it's a Kenda, it's a poor boy, poor boy tire, whatever you want to call it. It is a DOT rated tire, um, as far as I know. 
So, um, yeah, DOT K36D, whatever, Kenda 36D. And I'm just looking for a date. So, this rotation is uh, both. So, intermediate, I guess. You rotate it to go that way. Hard to compact, you want it to go the other way. So, it's a directional tire depending on how you want to run it. So, January 1st, 2020. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go get the other tire uh, because that has a wheel rim liner. Get the other tire, get the tube, and uh, I got to see if I have rim locks. If I don't have rim locks, I'm uh, stuck. So let me go I'll go check it out. But anyway, I'm just super excited. I got this pipe to unbend. Like really excited. I couldn't stop talking about it at work all day. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up and uh, probably put it back on. It's going to be a tight spot to put it on, but it goes down there. The bolts are there. But Alright guys, let me know if you guys are enjoying the free CRF450 content. One of our brother-in-law said he was. And, uh, and again, thank you my brother-in-law so all right see you guys on the next video got more stuff coming for it um radiator cap another air filter oh i gotta oil this air filter um the bolts and nuts for the rotors and for a sprocket i do have a another sprocket that i had on these doors i took off um yeah, I can't think of what else I got. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started on this wheel and tire and uh, cleaning this off and putting that on. You guys don't need to see. It's just two nuts and a clamp. Um, but all right, guys. See you guys on the next video. Maybe I'll do a tire install video, but it's too cold to do it on camera because I might uh, might have to throw a couple tools. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Later.